What's up, man? Look at what this guy just tweeted. Hashtag my most embarrassing moment. I was alone with a pretty girl in an elevator and I farted. It came out loud and she gave me space. That was when I knew the meaning of social distancing. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Well, come to think of it, what's your most embarrassing moment? That should be when I asked Lisa out and she told me if I ever come close to her again, she would get a restraining order. What? Lisa? You mean the same Lisa in my office? Yes, the same Lisa. You know, the funny thing is, anytime I remember it, it's still hot. Look, I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. Thanks, but I swear I'm going to make her pay. Dave, I will just ask you to let bygones be bygones. Just let the matter slide, okay? Relax, man. I am not saying I want to kill her. She hurts me emotionally, and that is what I am going to do in return. Okay, so how are you planning to do that? I got a number from a friend. I heard this guy is a very good player. I'm mean, very smart. I will pay him to play on her emotion. I will just call him right away. Please, put it on speaker. It's ringing. Hello. Please, am I on to mic? Yes, you are. I will just go straight to the point. I really need you to help me play on a guest emotion. Oh, sorry. I don't do that anymore. Please, please, just help me. Like I said, I can't. I will give you a good prize. I need you to do this for me, please. What? That's a lot of money. Three thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Please, three thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Okay, 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 okay. Four thousand dollars. Good. So I'd like to get our information. Don't forget, forward me our details. That is not a problem. I have everything planned out. I will forward everything to you. And don't forget, forward me your details. Dave, $4,000 is a lot. I know, but I'm ready to do anything just to make sure she feels what I felt. But you know you're a very wicked genius. <laughs> no, I can be bad <laughs> when I want to be. <laughs> Alright, so back to what I was saying. Um, where should we hang out again? You're welcome, Mike. So, what's the deal, man? Alright, she's on her way here. And when she gets here, I'll introduce you both together. But you are coming in as a business partner, okay? Oh, she's here already. Oh. So I will need you to wait inside. Okay. And I'll call you out when she's already here. Not a problem at all. <laughs> Good one. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Steve. How are you? I'm okay. All right, uh, before I proceed, there's someone I want to introduce you to. Who is that? Uh, my friend, and he's also a business partner. All right. Okay. Mike! Mike! How are you? So, Mike. Meet Lisa, my friend, and a good consultant. Lisa, meet Mike, my business partner. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Michael. You know, actually, no one call me Michael. So, I prefer you call me Mike. Well, I do. Michael. <laughs> What's funny, Michael? You know, I like women who speak their mind. My girlfriend, though. <laughs> Good for her. Mike, I didn't know you were seeing someone. <sighs> yeah, actually, you know, I've been dating a girl for four months now. That reminds me, Mike. Shouldn't we offer our visitor a drink? Sure, definitely. But first, come with me. Okay, man.
It's very problem, man. Why would you tell Lisa you have a girlfriend? We paid you half to do your job, and when you're done, we'll give you the rest, not you doing the opposite. Listen, man. No woman wants a man that another woman does not want. The next time we meet, I'll make my move. And by then, I've broken up with my so-called girlfriend. Damn. You're good. Oh, oh, oh. Well, um, anyways, um, Lisa's birthday is tomorrow. But she says she's not celebrating it. But that doesn't stop us from dropping by at her place to get her a gift. What do you think? That's a perfect idea. But tomorrow, no interruptions. I promise, I'll let you do your job. Let's leave more for she's person. Yeah. Happy birthday, sis. You said it a million times already. Don't mind me, I'm kidding. You know, if I could give you a perfect gift, do you know what it would be? I have no idea. A Prince Charming that will sweep you off your feet. Hmm. You know, I actually met a cute guy the other day. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Did you guys make out? Is he coming over today? Talk to me. Relax. I don't even know him that well. He's Steve's friend. And he has a girlfriend. All the good men are taken. Don't just give up. We never can tell. You know, you're too good to be alone, sis. Sis, are you expecting anyone? No. Who is there? Come in. Come in. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Steve. Hi, Grace. Hi. Happy birthday, Lisa. Thank you. So, Lisa, I was on my way back from work. I decided to surprise you. And I asked Mike to come with me. Hope you don't mind. He's mm. welcome. Happy birthday once again. Thank you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Grace, if you don't mind having a chat with me outside. Yeah, sure. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Michael. Oh, I don't mean to be too forward, but would you mind going out with me this weekend? <laughs> would your girlfriend be coming as well? Maybe we could play a game of taboo or treason. About my girlfriend? Mm. We're no longer together, you know. There was a misunderstanding and it's a long story. So you get off one bus and immediately hop onto another, right? Actually, I like to think going out with you is like driving a Rolls Royce. <laughs> so, you've not still answered my question. What question is that? Would you like to go out with me? Michael, I know we just met and you look like a nice guy and all that. But there's something about me you need to know. It scares guys off. To death even. Really? And what is that? Hmm. I see through men. Yes, most men don't know what they want. I have been with different shades of men. The player who treats women like disposable toys. The confused who doesn't know if he wants to date you or your sister. Ugh. And then the lazy ones 
who live with their mothers and expect you to pay the bills. Michael, if you want to date me, it means being a gentleman and respecting my body, mind and spirit. Lisa, for the record, I am not scared of you. But I would definitely respect your mind and your spirit. And what about my body? I think your body is beautiful. And will you respect it? I will do whatever you ask me to do. <laughs> Wait, did I just make you laugh? <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> so, is that a yes for the weekend? Doesn't sound like a bad idea. Fantastic. And once again, happy birthday. <laughs> I hope you liked your gifts. So, Michael, what do you do? I'm into real estate. Interesting. Yeah, and uh, I actually know what you do because I'm close to Steve. So Steve says a lot about you. Mm. But if you do something else, what would it be? A writer. That's a great idea. Mm. Do you like some food? Sorry, I did not offer anything earlier. <laughs> That's only if it's prepared by you. You just want to know if I can cook, right? I only want to have a taste of you. Sorry, a taste of a meal. Hello, Dave. Yeah, I actually left the room with Grace, but Grace is not here with me. She went to get something, so I said I should call you. I've been here for like four minutes now. I haven't had any argument or fight. That means it's going as planned. You don't just worry. I would get back to you as soon as possible. All right. Once again, Happy birthday. <laughs> Please have a seat. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mika. <sighs> Make yourself comfortable. Mm-hmm. Wait. What are you doing? I said make yourself comfortable not take off your clothes you you like it with your clothes on that's fine um, wait let's not rush things why not listen you've actually been through a lot and a lot of guys have you know, done wrong to you. But I want this to be special and different. Wow. I guess I, I have to respect that. But I'm sorry. It's it's fine. It's, it's fine. Um, I have to go. Wait, I hope you are not angry at me. I'm not. I just... I've never had a guy say those words to me and um, it feels different. Plus, if I don't leave, I might do something crazy because all of this makes me want you more. Okay, just... I don't want you to go anywhere. Really? Yeah. I seriously don't want to go. You said you wanted to see me. What's up, Mike? I think Lisa has fallen for you already. I think this is the best time for you to dump her. Or are you in love with her? 
Never. I'm a player. I know my job. Then finish the job. Yes, I will. And then one more thing. You break up with her tonight. Make sure you do a video and send to me. Very important. I need the video. And then you get your balance. Okay. Please, don't disappoint. Okay, man. Trust me on that. All right, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I need to call Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Hello, Michael. Can I see you? Ugh. Michael, I'm so tired. I just got back from work. Okay, um, what if I come to your place? That's fine. Okay, I'll be there right away. Okay. Thank you. What's wrong? You sound that serious. Are you okay? Something's bothering me, baby. What's bothering you, baby? I have a confession I need to make right now. Okay. This whole thing has been a lie. What has been a lie? Babe, I have to come clean. Okay. I can't play this game anymore. Steve and Dave paid me to do this. Listen, I would, I would make things clear. I was actually surprised to make you fall in love with me, sleep with you, and end things. But to be honest, when I met the real you, everything about my life changed. You, you turned things around for me, and I, babe, I swear to God. Everything I felt for you after is real. How much? How much did they pay you? Babe, I don't think there's a need for that. How much did they pay you? Babe, $2,000. You are exactly what I thought you were. A con man. No, babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Shut up! Get out! And never come back here again! Get out! Listen to me this very last time. Lisa, I sincerely love you. If I wanted the money, oh, I would have worked with them. Lisa, please. I know you are angry with me. And I'm also angry at myself. We are the one losing here. Dave and Steve got all they wanted. Lisa, I swear to God, I love you. And if I lose you, I'm definitely going I'm definitely not gonna find another woman like you, Lisa. Love. Love. You call this love. Lisa, I love you. Lisa, I swear to God, I cannot spend another day without you. Kick me out now, I will come every day. I will come right to your office, stand in front of your office. Cry before you, Lisa. Lisa, I swear to God, Lisa, I love you. I sincerely do. Please, I'm sorry. I 
can't. You think I'm sorry? It's just going to make me run into your arms like that. Please, <laughs> <laughs> 